it wasn't a cliche sports movie, and yet it was redemptive and inspiring. It wasn't a cliche movie about addiction. It was. It, it just didn't fall into any of the traps. It kind of subverted all of those expectations. So you kept expecting one thing to happen and something different happened. There's a, a reveal in the middle of the movie that really surprised me and that really rocked me. And I thought like, wow, this is powerful. This is emotionally powerful. And purely selfishly as an actor, I thought here finally is a script where I'm gonna get an opportunity to dig down emotionally into myself, discover things about myself, find out if I could access these parts of myself that I keep rather deeply protected and share them and, and as an artist. He was sensitive to, to the nature of the movie and to the sensitivities of the performance and he was paying attention to every little sort of tiny grain of sand and nuance in the performance and uh, I trusted him to, to make the right decisions and ultimately with the director that's what it comes down to. You pick a director and once you do you trust them and you just have to go off with them. They are a small team. They are, not, you know, they're not particularly gifted. There's one kid who's actually a pretty good player on the team. Other than that, they're kind of uh, role players. And uh, you know, he comes in and and uh, starts to think about strategically how to take advantage of a team built like that and how you can win with that kind of a team. And it turns out that he does have a capacity for coaching and he's pretty good at it. And he starts to turn the team around. And uh, they start to win some basketball games. And it becomes exciting, kind of joyful. And the team gets in inspired. And they come together as a team. And, um, you know, it's a lot of fun to watch. I think the team needs Jack. And Jack needs the team in equal measure. You know, Jack is life is really improved by coaching these kids. He finds something once again in his life to care about. Because he was living in a life where he had with the exception of the fact that he's probably still in love with his ex-wife, he had nothing really going on at all. He had kind of given up. And coaching this team gives him a reason to live, gives him a reason to hope. It gives him a reason to go home and think about something at night and to work on something and, and to hope for something. And with the team, they get a coach who really, really cares, you know, pushes them, demands more, uh, asks them to reach deeper, pushes them together to work as a team rather than a group of individuals. So I think it's a, I think it's a symbiotic relationship that works really well. Part of what Jack does is he inspires a passion and a caring in the players so that they want to win, so that it matters to them. They have a sense of pride and a sense of, of integrity and a sense of like, you know, we're not going to get pushed around. We're going to stand up for ourselves. We're going to fight hard. We're not going to let ourselves overcome, be overcome by challenges. This movie to me is the truest, realist kind of redemption, which is any redemption, any happy ending, any um, positive step forward. It's not a guarantee that the next step will also be positive. It's not a promise of happily ever after. It's simply a step. It's simply a step in the right direction, movement toward positivity, recognition of the difficulties one has, the abandonment of denial, the confrontation of your own minds uh, sort of playing tricks on you. And that's what happens with Jack. He realizes, maybe for the first time, he's got to change his life, and he wants a better life, and he wants to be happy. This needed to be a story about a character that was inspiring and moving and uplifting. And that was what I wanted to do. And I knew that in order to do that, I had to play it with unflinching honesty, with some bravery, with some vulnerability, and with a lot of emotional truth.